Hi, welcome back Vance, it's me Erica and today I'll be doing a basic cosplay makeup tutorial. This look can be used for many different characters. Starting with brows, I'm gonna go in and shape them as thin as possible with a brown pencil that isn't too dark. Once the brows are all filled in, brush out the front of the brow for a more gradient effect, going up and then diagonal. Now it's time for concealer. You'll need one that's one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. I'm using Toffee by LA Girl. And with a flat square brush, carve out the brow. After you highlight under the brow, let's conceal the top with a concealer in my skin color. Taking what's left on the brush, just stamp the tip of the brush on the beginning of the brow in intervals to create a gradient. And blend away. Cut a small amount of concealer to lighten the lids and prep for eyeshadow or you can use an eyeshadow base. Once this is done, blend it out and get ready for your eyeshadow. Using my old fit from Violet Boss, I'm taking two shades lighter than my skin tone and popping that right on my brow bone and immediately under the brow in sweeping motions. With this look, everything is supposed to be neutral, so you're taking as little product as possible. Then an orange tone transition shade for us dark skin girls. With my BH Cosmetics palette, and a short, square fluffy brush, I'm popping a darker shade on the outer two-thirds of my lid, just before my crease, in sweeping motions. Then, on the outer V, concentrate that much darker shade for some more depth. If you guys are enjoying the tutorial, please don't forget to like and comment, and let me know what would you like to see next. For the rest of the lid, we want to pack on a light shade with any of the brush options. Short and flat works best to reduce shearing out the colour and pat it on rather than sweep. If this is for your first cosplay, let me know who did you end up deciding to cosplay as and who you use this makeup look for in the comments below. I would be very interested to know. Now for a crucial step, concentrate a matte black eyeshadow on the outer part of the top lash line, bringing it down to the end of your eye without winging it up. This creates a more doll-like and open eye look, which most anime characters have. Then concentrate that same eyeshadow on the bottom lash line, only placing it on the outer third. Now go in with your favorite liquid liner, I'm just using one from the beauty supply store, and trace over the eyeshadow that we just placed. This will give the eye a more defined anime character look. Once 
once your eyeliner is done, it's time for lashes. I'm just using some wispy ones. You want to cut the lash band if the lash is too long for your eyes. Now, go in with a sharp angular brush and with some white eyeshadow base, stamp it onto the bottom waterline. Stamping helps keep the base nice and pigmented and helps with it smudging everywhere. The white will open up the eyes and make them appear bigger. Then set it with a matte white eyeshadow. Now you can apply some mascara on both your top and bottom lashes. Prep your skin using some primer. I also go in with Milk of Magnesia because I am very oily and that is the only thing that keeps me matte. Here I'm just struggling to do my makeup with this wig on. I don't usually do my makeup with my wig on. I put that on after. And it's time for foundation. You want a flawless coverage because anime characters tend not to have any blemishes. I'm using the Red Blanc Color Stay Foundation in Cappuccino, but you can feel free to use whichever works best for you. I hope you guys are still following along with me. Hopefully we can perfect this look so that by next year, cons will be back on again. I hope that next year we can have cons again. We're almost to the end guys. Now it's just time to highlight and contour. These are crucial steps when doing anime makeup. I'm just going to highlight that suits my face but you can research how to highlight and contour for different face shapes. Usually I go under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my teeth is bow and chin. This will help slim your face and give you a more chiseled look which anime characters have because they are drawn that way. <laughs> Now we're going to set our highlight with some Sasha Buttercup Powder. I find this one works best for us darker skinned girls, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand. Doing this in a wig was hard, but now I'm going to contour my forehead, cheekbone, jawline, and the bridge of my nose using a darker grey toned eyeshadow to create dimensions. I had to go back and push my wig so that I could fix my contour a bit. <laughs> you can add a bit of blush and highlight to complete the look. This is why I can never get ready in my wig. I have to put it on after I've done everything. Now just pop a little bit of that highlight on your cupid's bow and the tip of your nose to bring that nose highlight forward. Now you're going to line your lips as normal, but you're going to extend the outer part of your lip just a bit to give you a more doll-like look. Conceal the inner part of your lips with a concealer that's a shade lighter, and you can just stop here if you think this is fine for you, or you can add a bit of lipstick to the middle part of your lips. I'm using a red lipstick, but you can choose to use a pink as well. And this is going to give you a nice gradient doll-like lip effect. And here's the end result guys. This is actually not an anime character. I just threw on a few pieces from some cosplays I had already. But this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. 